afternoon we'll be dealing with cooler temperatures and a little bit of snow. You can see our temperatures been dropping. It's 30 degrees outside right now. Light winds out of the northwest and so it does feel a little bit cooler out there. And we've got moisture in the air, humidity 88% and the dew point at 27. And of course we've got moisture in the air. Look at the radar. You can see how we've got some light snow showers moving throughout the area. A little bit of rain too in parts of uh, Hardin County and throughout Bell Fountain. So the southern part of the viewing area could get a little bit of that mixture, but this is not going to be a lot of snow. This cold front is moving on through less than an inch is expected. Tomorrow we'll begin to see some clearing already. High pressure moving in, but tomorrow the big thing we're on the backside of the front and Arctic air is coming in, so it's going to be very cold tomorrow and strong gusty winds making wind chills in the single digits. But that high is going to move over to the Tennessee Valley, start a little bit more of a southerly flow. By Sunday already we'll see some warming and next week really nice spring weather is on the way. So let's look at Skycast. Here we are this afternoon, still 3 o'clock. We're seeing a little bit of light snow activity. You can see how it's mainly in the southeastern part of the viewing area, the northwest part staying pretty dry. A little bit of a band still moving through around midnight. Then a few flurries for Saturday morning possible. But we'll begin to see some clearing and partly sunny skies in store for Saturday and into Sunday. But as I said, the winds are really going to pick up and that's going to give us wind chills tomorrow on the very cold side. Here we are 5 a.m. Saturday morning, 25 up to 30 mile per hour winds. Here we are about 25 mile per 30 mile per hour winds in the afternoon. Just up and down gusty winds between 20 and 30 miles per hour. Even on Sunday, it's still going to be a little bit breezy. We have Sunday morning some wind gusts up to about 30 miles per hour into uh, into the 20s then by the evening. So the winds will eventually be dying down as we move into the start of the work week. But with those gusty winds, it's going to feel cold tomorrow. Dress in layers if you're going out for the parade, or if you're going to do anything outside. Feels like 7 degrees in um, Ottawa, 6 degrees in Lima around 11 o'clock in the morning with those strong winds and the temperatures in the lower 20s. Here we are, warm feel of 10 degrees up in Ottawa and 9 in Lima. That's around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And again, back down to the lower single digits. So wind chills will be a factor tomorrow. It's going to feel very cold. Our high today, 35. And I think we've already achieved that as we've been seeing the temperatures drop. Snow was like maybe a little bit of rain mixed in with the snow, but less than an inch accumulation. Tonight, a few flurries, 17 the low with cloudy skies. And tomorrow, as I said, a cold day or high only 25. Morning snow showers possible, but otherwise partly sunny with those gusty winds. Looking to the seven day extended forecast, don't forget to spring ahead. Sunday, we already see a little bit warmer weather with some sunshine and into next week, sunny skies like those sun icons. And we warm up all the way to the upper 60s next week. So spring is in the air. Yeah. It's getting close. All right. Thank you, Holly. Coming up next on Noon Edition, bundle up for the Irish Parade tomorrow. Kelly Sell is in with all the details. Don't go away.